Hey guys, it's me JJ and I'm just giving me my first YouTube video and I'm just going to show you guys how to theme your iPhones and iPods keyboard on the iOS 4 software. This To make this work you need to be jailbroken and you need to be on iOS 4. This will work on the 3.1.3 if you just follow my directions but you just download a program that works with the 3.1.3 software. To save time, I have already downloaded a couple of things I needed that takes a lot of time. And so let's get this started. I am on the 4.0. You guys can see. I do have multitasking running. And you need to open up Cydia. And I have a passcode. Alright. Once you do have your... Hold on, my camera... Once you do have your Cydia open, just gonna wait till it loads. So on the main screen of Cydia, you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna go and click on More Package Source. And you're gonna scroll down till you see iAccess. You're gonna click on it. You can install it. I have installed. It says modify. So yeah. After you do have iAccess installed, you want to go ahead and go ahead and respring. And you'll get this iAccess. You can click on it. And after you click on it, um, it's going to be in Chinese. Mm, Got to wait a little bit. Alright, so it's on Chinese. It's telling you to reboot. What you're going to do is click on the home button. And reboot it. Alright, I'm going to turn it back on. And while this does load, I'm just going to tell you guys that this is the iPhone 3GS on the new boot room, and that doesn't really matter for the iAccess. And on future videos, I'm going to be doing tweaks, um, unboxings, and I'm going to be doing jailbreak videos, unlocks, and all those kind of stuff. So for updates, and if you like this video, you know, go and leave a comment below. That helps me a lot. I do have another channel. It's golf video. You guys probably won't like that. So I uh, won't tell you guys. I'll just have it in the description. So subscribe for more videos. Hmm. And probably going to have a giveaway too. <sighs> All right. Type in my passcode. Welcome, JJ. And click back on stores. Open up Cydia. Actually, before you guys open up Cydia, I have to do something. You know, go ahead and open up iAccess again after you reboot. And after you reboot, it's going to say something Chinese. And click OK, and this is the important part. You're going to turn everything off except for the top. Oh, sorry about that. I'm using the camera, and I am off. All right, and just want to leave these alone. After you're done with that, click back and X that out. And click back to Cydia. And now you're done with keyboard. And let me just explain to you guys what you're trying to do with iAccess. Um, what iAccess does is that um, it makes its own keyboard. And you're theming that keyboard over the custom keyboard. 
Alright, so that's not very important. So after you download iAccess, you want to download the keyboard themes. And to do that, you want to go to Manage, Sources, Edit, and you want to add. And the source you want to add is this guy. And I want to give all this credit to MK321024. And he is an awesome iPhone modder, hacker, themer, and all that kind of stuff. So, you want to add the source. It's Cydia dot my repo space dot com slash mk three twenty one zero twenty four slash um I'll have that uh source in the description below so don't worry if you guys don't catch this so you're gonna add that source and you're gonna get this you're just gonna download uh themes that he has so the themes Let's see, um, the, he has four keyboard themes now. It's iAxis iGlossy 4.0, the iAxis MacBook Air, the iAxis MacBook Black, and the iAxis Storm. You can install one of them. Um, let's go ahead and install iAxis Storm. And confirm it. It's going to download. I'm actually really doing this on 3G right now, so it's very slow. Or maybe I'm not. I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm sorry about that. Mm. Alright, after it reloads the data, and obviously you need to have Lunar Board installed. Everyone knows what Lunar Board is, so I'm not going to go further detail. So, if you guys still remember what I said about like theming that keyboard over the keyboard, this is what I mean. So, this is the, uh, the keyboard that you get from iAccess, alright? It's just a plain keyboard in Japanese, I mean Chinese, and it's a regular keyboard. What you're doing is you're theming this keyboard. So you will be able to get the regular keyboard and the theme keyboard at the same time. So you can click on winner board. You can select the theme. So I'm just gonna select the iAccess Storm. Now I'm on 3G. Right. I've noticed it takes forever to respring after you jailbreak. Um, with jailbreak me, um, if I have at least one comment asking me to jailbreak the iOS 4 using jailbreak me, I'll go ahead and do that. So if you guys probably know. It doesn't matter. So there you go. Here's the theme keyboard. That's kind of cool. Hello, my name is JJ Moon, and I like my iPhone. Alright, some typos there, but I've noticed that these keyboards are kind of hard to type on, but they're usable. So. You got four keyboards to choose from, and um, MacBook Air is probably my least favorite. Try iGlossy or uh, MacBook Air. They're pretty nice. I mean, the iStorm is my least favorite. Alright, so if this video helped you guys, um, please leave a comment below, and more updates shall be uploaded. Alright guys, so bye bye, peace, and let's see if you can see me, alright, bye bye.